Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to model a simple knife and some of the basic uh, modeling tools in Blender. I, you can see this, I have my default Blender scene and I will start by adding a background. So press N and add the background image. Actually let's just start this, right? so you can see what I press. And the background image is just a simple image that I've got from Google of a knife. K5 and 1 on the numpad to go to orthographic view and you can see here the background. So I rotated this 45 degrees because it was kind of a spin the knife up through this corner. So that makes some problems on the rotation. So I just simple rotate it. Okay, let's make this axis front and opacity a little a little lower. Come on. Okay, something like that, and the size a little bit bigger. I guess that's fine. Okay, now that the background is set, I can just start and model my knife. Okay, I will tab into edit mode and grab this cube here at the base of the knife. Press Z to get a better view. Okay, now position is something like that. That looks fine. Alright, now grab these four vertices. Make sure you grab the, the back ones as well. And grab them on the x-axis till the end of the knife handle, something like that. Okay, I'll take this a little lower. I guess that's fine. And grab these bottom four vertices and grab them up till about there, at this point of the knife. That's fine. And now I will start modeling the knife by the handle by adding loop cuts. Control R and zoom uh, zoom up with the mouse and I'll first add three loop cuts. Yeah there. Okay now we can start model. Grab these two vertices with box select and grab them up. Alright these two as well grab them up and now we are actually aligning the the cube with the knife object, the knife background. Okay, okay. Now I will add another loop cut in here by pressing Ctrl R, left clicking and then dragging it here, and then left clicking again. Okay. Box select these bottom two vertices and grab them down a little like that. Control add another node to add another loop cut in here. Grab the bottom vertices and take them up. Something like that. Also grab the uh, sorry, that was V. Also grab the top two ones and grab them a little bit down like that. Again, grab, grab these two, actually select them, not grab them. Now I grab them and take them up. And box select this top one and grab them down. Okay, that's the basic shape of the knife handle. Alright. Now, if we take a better look, we can see that, the, that this is too wide. So I'll select all by pressing A and scale on the y-axis till it looks more like a knife handle. Yeah, I think a little bit more. Okay, that looks fine to me. Alright, so almost done. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not sure if you can actually see it, but the blade of the knife comes still about something like that. I don't know if it's there or 
but I think till about there would be good and it is it is pinned I'm not sure it, I'm not sure if that's the correct word it's pinned to the handle with these three uh, three points don't know how to call them okay anyway I will need to make a room in here for the blade so what am I going to do? Press 3 on the numpad. Alright, to go to side view and add Ctrl R to R to loop cuts. Okay, something like that. Ctrl R T, Ctrl 3, sorry. And scale them on the Y axis. So it will have the the wide what uh, width of the blade okay I think that's that's uh, good all right next what we are going to do press one and when the where the blade ends about here add another loop cut I'll just add it here okay and now you can just press Z to go to solid shading, solid view, and select this vertices in here. These two by pressing uh, right by right mouse clicking while holding Shift to add to the selection. And select all the vertices till about there. Yep, something like that. Now press X and delete the faces. Okay, that looks well for me. Yeah, looks nice. And now I can select these two vertices in here and the ones on the bottom as well and press F to make a face and now you can just press E to extrude and you can see we have extruded the blade out of the knife ok now one and grab it till the end of the blade and that's that looks nice all right now before I model this Z and one and I will add a loop cut in here there okay left, left click that looks nice add another loop cut horizontally take it down till about there okay that I think is nice and now what we want to do is no, I just take them down a little bit control E and edge slide a little bit down all right and now what am I going to do is I'll select these two vertices in here Alt M to merge them and select collapse so this will be kind of the the cutting blade the sharpness of the blade or how you call it alright that's good also select uh, control 7 so I can get a better view select these two ones as well and press alt M and collapse them All right, now, now you can see the sharpness of it Alright.
now press 1 and 0 and we can start modeling the knife select box select these vertices grab them down these ones as well grab them up till about there all right add the loop cut in here okay grab the top ones I'll just take them a little bit up the bottom ones grab them down add another loop cut okay box select the bottom ones grab them down also box select the top ones and grab them up a little add another loop cut again grab these ones down and another one grab the bottom ones down yeah and the top ones a little bit up and these ones as well all right add another loop cut grab them down and another one again grab them down and now add another loop cut in here and grab this till about there okay we, you can now see that this is taking a more realistic shape okay in fact I think I'll select all the top vertices grab them a little bit up and that's nice and these ones a little bit down so it will have a pointy end great that looks nice now select these ones right make sure you don't select anything else and grab them up all right so in in here and at this side this bottom side I don't need that sharpness so I'll select this vertices vertice and delete it all right so is that also del deleted my faces so I will select uh, these three ones in here I have to make face the two ones right here and the two ones here I have to make oh sorry press S F all right these two ones and these two F and again these two ones and these two and F and the last ones okay wait is that it the right ones yeah good all right select these two with these ones and F so now we made all the faces that looks a little bit better <clears throat> okay next I want to align this here at the top with the handle so I'll just press ctrl shift tab and select my snap type to vertex I select these two ones in here All right, grab them on the Z axis and hold down uh, control to snap 
Turn more right there. All right, also select these two ones and grab them on the Z till there. All right, or I can just add another loop cut in here. Come on, yeah and take this a little down all right that's the basic form done what we need to know what we need to do next let me see uh, yeah the circles that circles are right there I will just simply add them as circle objects. So uh, Shift A, add a circle, hold it at around x 90 degrees, scale them down, grab them till about there. All right, and Shift D to make another one. Shift D again. Okay, and now Control L to select linked, and now I'll place it at the surface of the object. Also, press F to make a face because it doesn't have one. Alright, I'll just place it on the eye with the eye it doesn't need to be that precise you know just something like that and now you can simply position these three ones by selecting one of the vertices ctrl l grab on the y and then holding down ctrl you can just snap them to that location. Also make sure you actually do faces for the two for these two ones as well. Okay. That looks fine. You can also do that uh, that for the other side, but I'm just going to do it for this side because I don't have time. Okay, now that I'm done, I should select one of the vertices, Ctrl L. Oh, damn, that doesn't work. Alright, I'll just let it be like that. Okay, in fact, no. I'll just select these vertices in here All right till about there and also the bottom ones All right and then just box you like the rest of the blade okay now with the blade selected you can press p and, and separate it by the selection so now it becomes a separate object tab out of edit mode select the blade tab into edit mode because we actually forgot some loop cuts in here so ctrl r add them and grab these ones down and this down, this come down another loop cut in here right and these ones come down good, that's fine for the moment 
now with the blade object selected the, the handle selected sorry you can just go here to the modifiers add modifier sub subdivision surface all right that doesn't look very nice for the moment I will tab into edit mode and just add some blue cuts till I make the shape that I want. This one needs to be yeah, something like that. And yeah, I think that looks nice. Okay. I'll just add them for the other side as well in here. Okay. Good. Now that looks nice for me. Tab about edit mode and select smooth shading. All right. Another thing I will do, tap into edit mode uh, with the handle selected, select one vertex from a circle, control L, and P to separate them from the handle object. So now we have three objects in the scene. Now we can just rename them or whatever, and in this tutorial I will not go over texturing and materials because I don't have time. So this is all for now. This is the basic knife tool modeling. So thank you for watching and see you next time.